everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing amazing 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 i'm back with another vlog i'm going to do my hair um i'm going by a hairdresser who i've known for years now i'm gonna do some content i'm just waiting for her to tell me with my phone i'm just waiting for her to tell me when to leave home um i also want to go get some hangers and stuff as well like so we have a spare room and all of that spare room is in a mess but we finally started to clean it because we want to transform it into like a kind of office area um and so i need to hang up myself because in that room i have like my cupboard with my clothes my drawers and everything so we're trying to get there organized i really need to get hangers because i have like clothes in bags and stuff that i never unpacked and then some of the new clothes that i would have purchased from she and i just want to hang up everything in my cupboard but i definitely need some more hangers because i have some i think i got those hangers from um fair and square if i'm not mistaken and i know fair and square so it means that I will have to settle for something that does not match the other hangers but that's fine like I am not that picky when it comes to these things so and let me know in the comment section if you will have any places that you will usually donate clothes to like it's good clothes but I just it's probably not my style or like it can't fit me like them kind of thing it's not like terrible clothes but I'm waiting to hear when to leave home and then I'll be going there do my hair I will pick back up my vlog when I get there
like it because I feel like my hair feel like I have on a weave. <laughs> like the thing my hair was so thick and I was like it just wow. Wow. Yes, wow. <laughs> So I was like, the next best thing to do is buy black because $16 is just a plain black hanger. Like, honestly, I just bought two and they come with six in the pack. So I have 12 to do what needs to be done. And if I need more, I'll go back. But I didn't want to buy like three and then I didn't need three. I mean, hangers don't waste. But I was like, you know, I would just buy two and then we'll see. And I'll know if to buy um, an extra one. Um, I will put uh, Blessed by Leslie her page in my description below so y'all can go and follow her on Instagram she has a TikTok as well I believe um, so yeah I am going to just relax myself no, actually I'm hungry so I think I'm gonna eat one thing before I leave as well I have been low-key considering relaxing my hair like low-key and I've seen it like this is like I am very very motivated to do it like I'm feeling the urge to relax my hair i'm really feeling the urge to do it like i am very much motivated like just doing this was like a form of persuasion i don't know i don't know what to do i'm gonna think about it because i'm like if it is i do relax my hair and then i want my hair to be like curly and do a wash and go i, I don't have that versatility you know and but the thing is when i do these things to my hair it also does not stay like i sweat in my hair a lot um the place is just extremely hot these days it's very humid so it's like the hairdresser was telling me like i could do a keratin treatment also last like a little bit longer so i'm thinking about going that route or like doing some kind of weave or wig or something because it's like i like to see my hair straight like my hair straight is so much easier to maintain like my natural hair, I love my natural hair, don't get me wrong, like I love giving it all that tender love and care, I love seeing it curly, I love being able to do different things with it, it's so versatile, honestly, I think natural hair is like so versatile, but at the same time, it gets very tiring and I don't always have the patience to give it the, the care that it deserves and that's my problem, but the thing is with relaxed hair, you also have to care for your hair. You understand? So it's like, it no matter, like, either way, I need to care for my hair, like, I need to see about my hair. But natural hair, and especially the things that I just want to do with my hair, like, what kind of things, you know? Like, when I really think about it, I still have to take care of my hair, even if it's relaxed. So it's like, you know, maybe I should just try the keratin treatment. Have any of you all did a keratin treatment? Let me know. And let me know how that was for you as well, because I'm very, I always, I'm scared to, like, do new things to my hair. So yeah, honestly, that is about it for today. Hey guys, about to prep cooking. Um, I'm going to be doing a rice bowl today. I would have done that like sometime previously in one of my vlogs. I did make a rice bowl and I'm going to be doing another one today. The only difference today is that I am going to be using my pressure cooker. So I usually use the tin for my black beans, but sometime my mom went to the grocery and she picked up a pack of the actual black beans to burst so it is more work but it is one healthier um and two i would have for like a longer period as opposed to like if i just use one thing um one thing about me your girl will cook in bulk and freeze like anytime i'm not feeling to cook that's gonna be toying out so i actually have like a bowl like i actually have a bowl of lentil peas right now in the freezer and so i don't have that much space to cook a whole pack of beans i think i'm gonna half the pack but then i'm like if i half the pack would that then i'm just thinking to just make all one time so this is the black beans that my mom pushes for me honestly i think i'm just gonna do all like i don't even think it's that big of a pack like recently i would have seasoned some chicken is it tenders what's it called it's just bonus parts i don't know i can't remember what they call it but I definitely purchased it from Master Doc in Omera. And we have it here. It is seasoned. So that's less work for us to do. What I do when I'm doing my rice bowl is I do... Well, today I'm doing jasmine rice. So jasmine rice. Um, how to cook. The black beans have to cook and the chicken how to cook. Everything else is like cucumber, tomatoes, lettuce, shadow benny. Like things that just had a cut up basically. I have my Hamilton Beach. Um, I keep it in the box like no matter how much I use it I would literally clean it and put it right back in the box and Auntie Sharon big up to Auntie Sharon big up to Just Sweet Creations that's my aunt who makes the bags she for my wedding wanted to give me like a really nice pressure cooker so she bought like a bougie pressure cooker for you and I actually really like it so I like to clean it up 
and put it back in the box. So this is it. I will show you this properly just now, but this is literally the pressure cooker. There's like no something. It's an electric one um, from Hamilton Beach. So you could do meat or stew, poultry, rice, steamed vegetables, beans, whole greens, casserole, brown saute, egg soup, and you can keep it warm for, it stays warm for like a while. I even put back the plug thingy on it, the plug cover, because I really don't play about my pressure cooker, like everything goes back. I'm going to wash out the part here. Yeah, it came with this spoon and a cup measurement. So this is the beans in here. So I have my seasonings. Here I have onion, garlic, pimento, sweet pepper, shadow belly, and then I have saib and celery on that side there. So I'm just going to chop them up. So now I'm just going to, I feel like I had to put more water now. And press beans. And that's literally it. I could just go my way now and it will calm down. It's, it will cook for half an hour, but like it will stay hot. So like you could leave this and like do whatever you had to do. You even had to wash your pots really. The little valve here for the steam to come out. And uh, you season up your pot with your salt and whatever but this, this is literally it. so I have uh, my clothes hung up I kind of put all my work clothes well the tops I have some others but like these are the newish ones so I put those on black hangers then well I have some extra black hangers of course so this is just like random tops like good going out tops well except for some jerseys that I have here and then on this one I have uh, um dresses all new whatever yeah and then this here is dario's suit from the wedding so we dry cleaned his suit and my wedding dress but my wedding dress is too long to fit in the cupboard so we just hang it here where there's a bit more space so yeah i'm gonna season up my pot now some powder seasoning some coconut milk and i will show you guys um and some salt as well and i'll show you guys the, fi the final product of it Alright, so, so this is the peas. So simple, and this is why I like this electric. Um, sorry, this electric pressure cooker is because I can literally put what I had to put and leave it and go, and never have to check it again until it's time to season. And I can literally do that in the next two, three hours, and it will be okay. So that is that. It's on warm, so it will keep it warm. Then I have my chicken here. Nothing much. I literally just put some oil in the pot and then put my chicken in it and then I'm going to turn it over at some point and that will be So here is my rice bowl completed, laid out nicely. I'm so excited to eat. Um, I'm gonna watch a show while I eat my rice bowl. Hey y'all, so it's a few days later, like about 
four or five days later to be fair the rice bowl was so good like when i tell them that day i would have had it with the rice obviously it's a rice bowl so it is so good i end up packing like my sister i sent my mom and my sister the picture of the rice bowl and they wanted so that night i ended up packing up bowls for them to go with um and then the next day now i had just beans remaining. Everything else had basically finished and vegetables. But I had no more rice and I had no more chicken. But I had chicken in the freezer. So I took it out. I um, did my little thing with the chicken. And then I, instead of doing rice, I decided to do it with just the salad and all it. That salad, well I guess you could call it a salad bowl instead of a rice bowl. The only difference really is that it had no more rice. And that salad bowl was so good. Like it tasted so good. Like no joke. I was like, I am not really like a salad person. But I could... I could eat that. I could eat that and be extremely comfortable and extremely happy. So we looking to head out just now. When I ended the vlog, when I went to do my hair, um, I was saying that I'm thinking about relaxing my hair because I just really like my hair straight at times. Um, but I really, really had to weigh the pros and the cons here because um, I don't think that I could deal with the permanency of uh, relaxing my hair like that's just what i came up with i don't i honestly don't think i could i don't think that i could deal with that level of permanency um because it's like and this is just my perspective it doesn't have to be your perspective as well but in my eyes like when natural here i have that versatility of doing a wash and go if i wanted to do a wash and go like i have that vers versatility of like straightening it out if I want to do that you understand the only thing is that the straightener don't really stay so I'm about to go and get a flat iron I know that if I relax my hair and I get fed up of it like I could grow it out um, and stuff like that but 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 I just don't think that I want to go through that right now so I think the best thing for me to do would be to pay to have it silk press uh, and touch it up with my flat iron because I also don't think I have the patience of like flat iron in my whole hair which I mean I would try but I just don't think that I have the patience to to do it for myself so I'm going to buy a flat iron but like yeah I think that um, relaxing is a very permanent decision for me and I don't think that I'm ready for that but I do like my hair straight at times like you know we're gonna go to Pennywise soon. It's a rainy day, but it's like a rainy hot day. Like, it's like the sun shining, but it's raining. So, I messaged Gabby yesterday because I needed to get advice on like flat iron because she flat, flat irons are here. So, I messaged her to find out like what I could do, and I got some advice from her. So, I'm looking for a titanium flat iron. She didn't buy her flat iron in Pennywise, but I am gonna see if I can get one. She bought hers online. So, like, I know that she said I should get one that is the titanium, and then I also did some investigation and i was on tiktok and this girl local person she bought a flat iron pennywise but her flat iron cannot adjust the temperature and she was like she didn't mind because she's in it for wigs like i went through the whole comments everything she's in it for wigs so it don't matter for her but this ain't a wig lover we need heat we need heat and then well yeah, i got a heat protector from gabby and i got my little advice so we'll see how it goes i think for curry today so i might get my curry i'm using this body spray that my sister got from me from bath and body works I wear this like almost every day. I will catch back up with all the ladies. I'm gonna show you why I get some Pennywise and then I'll go back and eat. But yeah, I purchased Poems Roti and Dara tried this new place. Um, I don't even know how to explain where it is, but it's definitely on the Eastern Main Road. Close to like a mechanic or something, or like a tire shop, something so. Um, a soup place, so yeah. It tastes good, but it don't really have a lot of seasoning in it, but it's okay. But my roti tastes any good, so anyhow. You all know, home has been doing its thing since whenever. So I got my flat iron, so I wanted to show you all it, obviously. So I purchased this one. 
The name of the brand is Hot and Hotter. Some of the things that I was looking for is that it was titanium and it could adjust the temperature. So you could control the temperature up to 450 degrees of Fahrenheit. Um, and it's titanium. It is a one inch though, so it's kind of smallish, but that's okay. That's okay. It was $189 for it and 95 cents. So, of course, I'm going to try it. But this is, this is it. And I didn't really want a, a red, like red is definitely one, not one of my favorite colors. Um, but the pink that they had was not titanium, I think, it was ceramic. So this is it. So yeah, yeah. this is, uh, the flat iron is very thin, but me preferably, because she was saying that like, the thinner it is, is the less hair obviously that you get, into, you get to put in it. But... I think with my hair especially, I need to do it in small sections, like, I long time, when I used to flat iron my hair, I could never, like, it was a bigger one, and like, paint too much in the flat iron just never is, I need to do my hair piece by piece, so that was another way, I was like, you know, it really matter. I purchased this heat protector to go with it, so I would have seen this in Gabby vlog, as I said, a long time. It's a heat slayer, and it's pre-iron, spray leave-in, up to 450 degrees heat protector, and this goes, my flat iron goes up to 450 degrees. So it's supposed to reduce frizz and hydrate three days sleek. Apply on clean damp hair, spray evenly six to eight inches away from here and flat iron as usual. So you're supposed to spray this first. And I think Gabby says spray it, leave it a little bit, just not too long. And I just, and I just put just a lip gloss. This is the Broadway Rosehip Oil Lip Gloss. And I, when I'm going out, I just need a gloss and I don't have one. Hi guys, so it is a few days later, but I wanted to come and do this taste test for you guys. Um, and it's this puppy drink that I've literally been seeing all of our social media. Well, really YouTube, I don't really be on like all the others, but like I know a lot of the vloggers as I watch they drink this drink, and it's supposed to be a prebiotic soda so i purchased two if you're wondering where i got it from in east case i believe the name of the store is stingray and they usually sell what's going on with my quality hello they usually sell seafood but they had these here for 20 dollars and i would never usually buy 20 dollars like a can of a drink like what but i really wanted to try it because i wanted to see what the hype was about and i also bought a cake there it was like a kind of it's like it have ice and thing, but it have like cake batter or like cookie dough in between the the, the layers. Mm. What did I tell you? Tastes real good. So anyhow, I got the cherry limeade. So I got the cherry limeade and I also got the classic cola because I thought you like Coke. So I was like, I'll buy the classic cola to see. Alright. Smells good. Sweet, but with an edge. Are we describing you or the soda in your hand? Hmm. That's one secret we'll never tell. Juicier than a tabloid with five, five grams sugar, clean ingredients, and prebiotics. That's not just gossip, it's the truth. Okay, and it has 25 calories. Okay. If you have like a soda addiction, this could probably replace it. But the aftertaste, the aftertaste is not the best and I think it's, it has stevia in it I think it has to be that and sparkling water let's try the coke the coke where it's like a classic water it's okay but yeah, I think I prefer the classic cola than the cherry limeade. But the after this is, I know it's supposed to be healthy, so I guess I'm guessing that's why. And a lot of people drink it because they try to replace their soft drink or their stuff with this. It is worse on a Coke Zero though. I don't get the hype. But I think the hype is because it's a good replacement. So like, obviously, like if you're replacing something. It wouldn't taste the same, but it's supposed to be like something that could replace it. And yeah, no, it's not for me. As I always say when I do taste this, I kind of on myself. But as I usually say when I do taste this, I taste this so oil or I buy it so that oil don't have to. 
Alltså, yeah. mm -mm. <sighs> Public service announcement. A little PSA for you. I may be a little bit inconsistent in the next few weeks. I may post, I may not post, I might post short videos just to try to be consistent. But I'm doing a lot of things. We'll catch up at some point in time. But I basically may not have time to be consistent right now because I was pre-recording all the time so I would be I was able to like you know but it catch up with Molly it catch up to them and yeah so like right now a lot of my videos are over 20 minutes sometimes 25 minutes sometimes over 30 minutes I don't know but like I think I might be doing like shorter vlogs more to the point um until I kind of organize myself however I might take a little break I might I'm not sure I might take a little break from YouTube just for a while because I'm really really tired and as I said I was pre-recording but it's all caught up to me now and that's the only way um, I could cope you understand what I say? So, but I've been very consistent um, for the past few weeks, months yeah and right now I just need to take it down a little bit but I refilled my hair I did not talk about it but yesterday I did condition my hair and um yeah so we back to the curls but i do have my flat iron so like anytime i feel for like straight hair i don't think my flat iron is all that but i could probably pay to flat iron my hair or pay to silk press or something and then i could always maintain it with my flat iron that's really the purpose um that's really the purpose of the flat iron was really to just maintain my hair if it's straight so we are reverted we deep condition we moisturized my hair is trimmed when I did the silk press I think it's in this vlog self my um the hairdresser trimmed my hair for me thank god because it needed to trim so anyhow that's the end of it for today I will see you guys in my next video later I'm not bad, you baby.